Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope that you guys are having an amazing one today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jarrell, and in today's video, we are going to be trying, reviewing, doing swatches of all of the products that I order from Pat McGrath. Let me just show you the box. All right, so here we have the box that it came in. My husband already threw away all of the wrappers, but I got the two main palettes. I also purchased the Trio blush and highlighter, I think it is. And I also purchased two of the Fat Pans eyeshadows. They gifted me this highlighter, which I do not have in my collection, so I'm happy about that. So as you can see, we do have a lot of eyeshadows, a lot of swatching, a lot of trying out to do. I'm not going to break this video into parts. I just want to try as much as I can for today's video, so I know that it's going to be a very long one. Let's go ahead and get into the video, but before we do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. You can also like this video because that definitely helps out my channel so much and you can also click on the little bell that will notify you whenever I upload a new video which is every single week and without further ado let's get started So the first thing that I'm going to say is check the timestamps down below in the description area because that is definitely going to help you, especially if you are here for a specific palette. Go ahead and check it out. The other thing that I do want to actually just complain about really is just how this whole entire process came about, how super long they actually took to send out my package. Apparently from what you guys told me is that if I order the trio, like the face palette, along with my whole entire order, that is the reason of the delay, which is super disappointing because I know that I was not the only one. I know that you guys have been waiting for your packages as well. I've never experienced this long of a delay for any of my packages from Pat McGrath. So yeah, I'm definitely a little disappointed when it comes to that. But yeah, now let's go ahead and get into the swatching of the palettes. I am going to start with this one right here. It is the Mothership Bijou Brilliance palette. And this again is called the Jewel Temptation. So it does have the deepest shade. Here we have the palette. And just like the other ones, um, it does have this little string. It does not hold it up, unfortunately. I mean, it goes down immediately. And a lot of you that have commented, you guys are not really into this packaging. You rather have like the bigger palette, like the mega palette. And I totally agree, me too. But let's go ahead and swatch the whole entire palette. I am going to start with the eyeshadows. So the eyeshadows have a shelf life of 12 months and they are made in Italy and the blushes do have a shelf life of 18 months. All right, so here we go. We have Coral Nectar, Umber Aura, Star Garnet, Daring Desire, Midas Mystique, uh -huh. Midnight Cherry, Smoldering Bronze, Blooming Sienna, Amethyst Noir, this one right here, which is Amethyst Noir, very smooth, super pigmented, really, really nice. The mattes, just like her other mattes, are very, very dry, very pigmented, but very dry at the same time. Here we have Desert Amber, which is the lighter blush, and this one is Paradise Venus, which is one of my favorite blushes of all time. What do you guys think so far? Out of the whole entire palette, I mean, my first impressions out of the whole entire palette, I am really excited for this one shade. That's it. Now this palette, I don't think that I mentioned it, but it does retail for $76. All right, so now let's go ahead and move on to the Mothership Bejewel Brilliance Star Truck Splendor. And again, we have two blushes and the eyeshadows. I do want to correct myself. The eyeshadows from what I'm seeing in the box, they are actually made in the USA. And the only thing that is made in Italy are the blushes. So let's go ahead and start with the swatches. We have Opalescent Moonstone. It has a blue shift to it. Dawn Divinity, which is a matte shade. Eternal Bronze. It's very creamy, like almost wet to the touch. This is Forever Nude. Fawn Fantasia. Serene Sienna. Celestial Celadon. Mystique Majesty, Emerald Eclipse. Wow, this palette is so weak. Only, only shades that I'm really interested in is this one, this one, and this one, which is way more than the previous palette. That's just based on the swatches and that is just my opinion. But yeah, again, $76 for this palette. All right, so we have Ninfet, which is a permanent shade. And this one is Coral Cosmo. 
So here we have the swatches for the Pat McGrath Mothership Bejewel Brilliant Star Truck Splendor. I went ahead and purchased two of the five pan palettes. This one right here on the top is Bronze Ecstasy and then we have Lunar Nightshade. Let's go ahead and start with Bronze Ecstasy and these are all part of the Bejewel Brilliance eyeshadow palettes collection and here we have the color story. Like these ones right here are definitely going to be the more popular ones just because they look so beautiful and glowy glittery and just mm, so gorgeous and I absolutely love the ones that she came out with a couple of collections ago so this one is starlit champagne I got so excited I just went ahead and start swatching this one is merlot mystique honey nectar oh my goodness so beautiful this one is twilight taupe and this one is called enchanted bronze by the way, this one feels like you are picking up so much pigment right away. As soon as you touch it, like you are getting so much. It feels really nice and creamy, uh, very, very pigmented. And here we have the Bronze Ecstasy Palette Swatch. But this five pan palettes are really something special. But sometimes what she does is just that she doesn't give us like too many mats, which that is something that, you know, just keep in mind that you're going to have to bring another palette if you want to create looks using matte eyeshadows as well. So here we have a more of a metallic shade. This is the only matte in the palette. Feels really creamy. All right, so here we have Platinum Midnight, Midnight Iris, Pale Amethyst, Noir Nebula, and the last one is Neptunian Orchid. So here we have the swatches for Lunar Night Shades. Very, very beautiful. These three shades right here are absolutely stunning. So the last thing that we're going to be swatching is this trio right here, which is the Divine Blush and Bronze and Glow Trio. It's called the Nirvana in Bloom. So we have Bronze Nirvana, Sunset Bloom, and then the highlighter, which is Lotus Nectar. All right, so we have a bronze Nirvana, which is a very yellow tone, very warm bronzer. Uh, we also have Sunset Bloom, which I think that it's a new shade, but you guys can correct me if I am wrong. This one is Lotus Nectar, which I would definitely consider it more of a blush topper instead of a highlighter. And here we have the face palette. All right, so I don't think that I mentioned to you guys, but the five pan palette, it retails for $36 each, and this face palette retails for $50. $52. All right, guys, I'm going to link everything down below in the description area just in case you guys are interested in knowing what I am wearing for my face. But I'm going to start priming my eyes using my hourglass primer. So let's go ahead and use this palette for our first look on this eye right here. And I am not going to be able to use all of the shades because it will just be a hot mess for just one eye look. But I'm going to try as many shades as possible and I'm going to try all of the palettes for today's video. Again, this is going to be very long, so check down in the description area for timestamps. Let's get started. Let me start with this one right here. And I'm going to use it on my crease. There is fallout already, which is fine with me. I never have a problem with fallout. So that is blending really nice. I've only dipped once and this is how it looks on the eyes. It's not patching up, but this shade we do have a lot of in different palettes, not just from Pat McGrath, but in other palettes. Now taking this shade, Another shade that is very repetitive, especially if you like eyeshadows, you might have all of these shades already that I am using, but I'm going to just really focus that on the crease, the outer corner, and I'm also going to run it on my lower lashes. Using a smaller brush, this one is the Refer 13 brush. I'm going to take the deepest shade in the palette, which is this one right here. It's a little bit more of a maroon kind of shade, and it definitely gives us a little bit more depth than the previous shade. We're really gonna focus that in the outer corner and just bringing it in a little bit on the crease just to define it. I'm gonna take a clean brush and taking this shade again just to blend the edges. All right guys, so I'm going to take this shade right here which is called, oh my gosh, it feels so crazy. If This one is called the Amethyst Noir. So I'm going to add this all over the lid and just leaving a little bit of space in the inner corner. It looks so beautiful. I'm going to go in with Coral Nectar for the inner corner. I'm going to bring it in just to meet it with the purpley shade that we have. 
and also going to bring it out and i'm going to add it to the inner corner and just bringing it up i'm going to use this shade right here and i'm going to add it to my lower lashes and right on top of that i'm going to take this shade going back with the deepest shade in the palette just making sure that we didn't lose that in the outer corner on the lower lashes and also on the top i'm not gonna lie that looks absolutely stunning i mean love it love 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 it so pretty i didn't think that i could actually come out with a look using this palette that is so pretty i'm not gonna lie those are just my first impression all of these shades that i use for this look i'm just trying to use as much as i can and still for it to look pretty and to make sense and I gotta say that they perform very nice the mattes really really nicely as well um i use pretty much everything except for this shade and this gold one i'm going to move on to this palette right here which is the star trek splendor um and i'm going to do this eye with you guys right now so then i'm going to do just the rest of my face and then when it's ready when i'm ready to apply blushes i want to apply the blushes with you on camera just so you guys can see them in action so let's go ahead and i'll create another look using this palette right here so now taking this shade right here and i'm going to add it to my crease starting in the outer corner and just bringing it in a third of the way so now i'm going to take this purpley shade right here i'm going to add it to the inner part of my crease using a smaller brush i'm going to take this shade right here and i'm going to add it to the outer v and stunning it out a little bit and running it on my lower lashes as well on the outer part Going back with the first shade and the first brush, just really blending everything out. So the only thing about this palette is just that it's not giving me like a lot of depth, which I don't like that because, I don't know, for some reason I just feel like it needs a little bit more depth in the outer corner. I'm just not able to get there with this palette. And now use this shade right here with our fingers, just leaving a little bit of space in the inner corner. Going in with the lighter green, just going to add it to the very inner corner and bringing it up. So going in with the darker green in a brush just to perfect it a little bit. Again, taking the deepest shade in the palette, which is this one right here, and just really making sure that that is meshing well with this green, just blending it into the green. Okay, I'm going to take the deepest shade again. Just going to run it all over my lower lashes. I'm going to take this bronzy shade and I'm going to add it right in the center. And I'm going to take this shade right here, which is the lightest shade. And I'm going to run it on my lower lashes and the inner part. What was that? And taking this shade one more time and I'm just going to tap it all over the eyelid. So I don't know if that made like a huge difference. I know that right here in the inner corner does look a little bit more on the bluish side. Just cleaning up a little bit. So for the inner corner shade, it actually looks pink on the pan, but it does give you like a blue shift to it. I don't know if you guys are picking it up. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. Um, I hope that it is so you guys can see it, but I do feel like we lost a little bit of the dimensions of the lighter green and the darker green, but you guys let me know in the comment section down below. So I'm going to just do my base and when I'm ready for bronzer and blushes and all of that, I am going to come back so you guys can see it in action. All right, so I'm going to just bronze up my face using this shade right here. So I'm using the bronzer and it's definitely working out for me, which I didn't think that it would. This brush right here sheds like crazy because it's an old, old brush, but I still love it. I do feel like it's looking a little patchy, but that could totally be my skin. Just not doing its best, guys. It's not doing its best. All right, so now that we use the bronzer, let's go ahead and move on to the blushes from the palette. I'm going to start with this deeper shade right here. Add it on the back of my cheekbones. And now moving on to this brighter corally pink. Just adding it right on the apples of my cheeks and blending it back. Okay, that looks cute. It does have like a glow to it already. 
All right, so I don't know if it has a glow because I'm cleaning the brush in this right here where I was also cleaning the eyeshadows, but anyway, that is how the blushes look. All right, guys, and now I'm going to take this deeper shade right here. I'm going to add it to the back of my cheekbones. Really nice and pigmented. So just a little bit at a time. And now I'm going to top it off with this shade right here. Going in with the brush that I use for the concealer. Just blend it in a little bit, cleaning up. I'm going to add mascara and just do the lips off of camera. And then I'm going to show you the final look for each eye. All right, guys, so here is the look with the Jewel Temptation palette, blushes and all. And here we have the final look with the Star Trek Splendor. All right, guys, so here we have both of the looks again which each palette, what do you guys think? Which one are you more attracted to? This one right here, which is a Jewel Temptation, or this one right here, which is the Star Trek Splendor. Let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite. Out of the two, I think that this one is the one that is talking to me in a special way right now, just because the mats definitely gives us that depth to the eyes, and I absolutely love that so much. The other palette, which is the Star Trek Splendor, does have some mattes, but they are just not giving me the depth that I really enjoy. Is it something like super unique to my collection? No, can I recreate this look using other things that I already have in my collection? Absolutely, and that goes for both of the looks. But they are Pat McGrath, this is limited edition. This is just a really nice, beautiful collection. Pat McGrath is a brand that I review here on my channel, so I wanted to do the best job possible for you guys so then you can make your final decision whether is to get these palettes or not to get them and of course if you already have something similar at least I am providing you with some inspiration all right guys so now I'm just going to remove all of this makeup so we can go ahead and create some looks using this five pan palette so, so I am back the brows are looking okay but we're here to focus on the eyeshadow so let's go ahead and start with the more neutral palette to take this shade this one and I already went ahead and primed my eyes using my hourglass primer again so I'm going to take this shade in the outer corner just standing it out a little bit I'm going to work it into the crease little by little just going to bring it in a third of the way again just creating the definition on the crease all right with the same brush I'm going to take this maroon shade and I'm just going to tap it in the outer corner right here in the outer V and it does have more of a plummy undertone comparing it to the other shade it's a little bit more on the cooler side more of a natural brown I'm going to take a clean brush and just blending the edges taking a little tiny brush like this and just going back with this plummy shade going to run it on my lower lashes in the outer part and connecting it with what we have done on the top. And I'm going to go in half of the way. I'm going to use this shade right here, right in the middle with my finger. I'm going to add it all over my eyelid. That is beautiful, so beautiful. Just cleaning the inner corner a little bit and just the fallout. All right, so now going in with a little brush in this shade and I'm going to run this all over my lower lashes. So from the inner part, just meeting with this plummy shade and it's definitely more of a bronzy shade. And now taking the lighter shade in the palette and just going to add it to the inner corner and bringing it up a little bit to hug this lid shade. I love doing that, just bringing it in a little bit and just meeting with the other shade. Going back with the middle shade in this same brush, just making sure that they are marrying each other nicely. That is so beautiful. I am going to do my skin in a little bit, but let's go ahead and move on to this palette right here. I'm going to start with this plummy shade right here. I'm bringing it a little bit on the lower lashes, halfway. Just creating my shape and really focusing this color in the outer corner. I'm going to use a smaller brush in the same shade just to get in a little bit on the crease. So I'm going to start with this shade right here and I'm going to add it to the outer corner. Taking the same brush that we were using before and using a little bit of this color again and just pressing it down in the outer corner and blending it into the plummy shade. 
going to run it on my lower lashes as well really tight going back with the plummy shade just blending the edges now this shade when you first apply it with your finger you can definitely see the glitter but when you are using a blending brush it is going to blend away some of the glitter so just know that still going to show up it's just not going to be as intense now i'm taking this blue right here just adding it to the lid and just leaving a little space for another shade so now taking this middle shade and we're going to add it to the rest of the eyelid i'm just going to blend it into this middle shade right here just bringing it up as well i'm going to use this shade right here just to smoke it out on my lower lashes just so you guys know, I actually removed a little bit of the plum shade just because it was getting patchy. It was getting way up high and I didn't want that. So it's a little bit difficult to work with this plummy shade in my opinion, but it could also be the fact that I just had some other makeup eye look. My eyelids could be a little bit sensitive since I have been playing with eyeshadows more than what I am used to. Um, but yeah, see like right now it's creating a little bit of patchiness right here. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs> that is the best that I can do. I'm just going to go back in with the other shades and just make sure that they are still there. Taking a Q-tip just to shape it up a little bit and to blend it because it looks, it looks so patchy. It looks so patchy. I don't like it. <laughs> I've been trying to fix it. <laughs> I'm gonna stop because I'm gonna mess it up and I can't start all over again right now. I mean, that is the best that I can do. Now, going in with this lighter shade right here, I'm just going to add it to the inner corner, adding a little bit on the highest points of my brow, whatever is left on the brush. Ah! That plummy shade is uh, throwing me off. But anyways, I am going to curl my lashes and do the rest of my face and I'll come back so we can apply the bronzer again, blushes and highlighter and just be done with uh, these uh, two looks right here. Using the same brush and bronzer from before. You guys see how patchy it is? I try to fix it as much as I could, but not working out so i feel like my energy levels is definitely a little bit low right now i do need to eat something and i have to pick up my kids i have to prepare dinner you guys know exactly how that is but yeah anyway so this bronzer is working out it's a little warm for the looks so i'm not gonna lie but i still wanted to just retest it out and yeah it definitely works out for my skin tone now moving on to the blush again i don't think that they're going to be the best match for these looks right here but we're just going to add a little bit using this right here which is the highlighter but i'm just going to use it also just as a topper yeah this is intense <sighs> that's intense i think i added a little bit too much lip liner and lip gloss from pat mcgrath this lip liner right here is in suburbia and this lip gloss is in wicked whisper so so good like this combo right here is one of my favorites yep all right guys so here we have the final look for bronze ecstasy and here we have the final look for lunar nightshade all right, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about my first impressions when it comes to the Pat McGrath Bijou Brilliance Collection. Let's go ahead and start with this palette right here, which is the face palette that has three products, bronzer, blush, and highlighter. The way that it actually looks on the skin is absolutely beautiful. I really didn't think that it was going to be like a, the right shade for my medium skin tone, but it really is. This bronzer right here really gives me some warmth. Um, so I will pair it with like different eyeshadows for sure. I do see myself reaching for this one just because it's super, super easy to create just a whole entire look. I can definitely use these shades as well on the eyes if that is what I desire to do. So performance when it comes to it, absolutely fantastic. So if you never try the bronzers, blushes, or highlighters from Pat McGrath, this is the best opportunity. It just glides on, it blends really, really well. Go ahead and talk about this five pan eyeshadows, which is what I have on my eyes. And I do gotta say that I am a little disappointed when it comes to the matte shade that we have in this palette right here, which is the Lunar Night Shade. Again, it was just really difficult, very patchy. It's just didn't want to blend whatsoever i mean this is the best that i could do and i am very unhappy with the end result just because 
I love to blend. I love when everything just looks really nice and blended, if I have to say that word again. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. I can see some patches right here, right here, and it's just driving me crazy. But the rest of the shades, I mean, if you are really just looking at this palette for the shimmer shades, absolutely beautiful on the eyes they just have such a strong shimmer to it and this shade right here does have a really nice dark base so if you really want to get smoky with this palette but in a colorful way you can definitely achieve that you can also use this shade right here all over the eyelid just for a one and done you can introduce other palettes and just create the most beautiful blue green kind of a look um, yeah, definitely not my favorite shade in the palette, but the rest of the shades worked really nice. So it's really up to you on what you are looking for. Now, when it comes to this one, which is more of the neutral kind of shade, and this one is called the Bronze Ecstasy. All of the shades worked amazingly. I love, 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 love the sparkle that it just gives my eyes. This is such an easy palette to have in your collection for your everyday kind of makeup looks for one and dones with this shimmer shades right here. You can definitely be a little bit more smoky with it. Maybe introduce other palettes in your collection just to play with it, but this is such a beautiful palette. And now let's go ahead and talk about these two bigger palettes. And I do gotta say, and I already think that I mentioned it in the middle of the video, but um, yeah, I'm definitely leaning more towards not this one <laughs> not this one this one i thought that it was going to be my favorite out of the two and come to find out it is none this one is just not giving me the depth that i need and i already mentioned that i think in the middle of my video so i'm not going to bore you too much of it but i mean if you are looking for a really nice like pop of color and something that is a little bit softer than this one is going to do for you but i think that this palette in particular is going to work a little bit better for lighter skin tones in my opinion if you are medium skin tone or deeper skin tone then stay away from this palette because the mattes is just not going to give you definition but that is just my opinion based on the usage of this palette for today's video now this one right here is definitely going to give you more depth if you are more on the medium skin tone tan skin tones then this one right here is definitely going to work out for you so beautiful then starting with the lightest shade in the palette you are going to get definition and all of the shimmer shades that i use for today's video which are these ones right here this three they worked so well they just they are so beautiful on the eyes i really was impressed with this shade and the way that it actually looked on the eyes i really enjoy that look so much so that one would be like my second option the first option will be the little this palette right here anyways guys that is it for this video i hope that it was helpful especially if you guys had your eyes on any of these pieces from this pat mcgrath 2023 collection i know that she came out with so much i mean there's so much more in her collection but these are the ones that really just intrigue me the ones that i wanted to review for you guys so i hope that at the end of the day it helps you out into making a wise decision on your next purchase i am going to link everything down below in the description area just in case you guys are interested remember that they are affiliated links and i do get a small commission and it just comes back to my channel like you guys know that is it for this video thank you so much for being here thank you so much for your love your time and support please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already and i will see you next time